Good morning, my world of rogues. This is Coffee. My name is Erin Rogaff, and I would like to welcome you back to my booktube channel. And my Coffee would like to say hello, too. Anyway, I have been going to the beach with my mom every night this entire week, and whenever we go to the beach, we walk up and down the boardwalk two miles each way, and we often play a seafaring-based would-you-rather. So, would you rather go snorkeling or deep sea diving? Would you rather have a sailboat or a yacht? And what would you name your boat if you had one? For me, I would rather go deep sea diving, I would rather have a yacht, and I am not sure what I would name my boat. However, with my obsession with Star Trek, I would probably call it the Enterprise just to support the franchise. And my mom is set on naming her boat the Surly Mermaid. So one day when I am rich, I would like to get my mom a boat of her own. So anyway, when my mom and I went for a beach walk last night, we did our Would You Rather questions. Then we decided to binge watch Lost. And I started thinking about all the books that I would want to bring with me if I was stuck on a deserted island. So here's my list of top three picks, starting with Give the Dark My Love by Beth Revis. This is a young adult fiction fantasy novel. It's rated a 3.7 out of on out of 5 on Goodreads. And I think this deserves more love and a movie too, because I would definitely watch the movie if there was ever one made so please please movie producers make a movie out of this book oh my gosh this novel has a seafaring theme and it's a great read for somebody going on a cruise someplace tropical or otherwise and it also includes travel to islands aplenty and then it is an original novel idea to me anyway just because I don't read a lot of seafaring based books even though this doesn't technically count as a seafaring based book it just has a lot of like water travel and pirates that sort of thing so I thought that was cool and then the book is also very thought provoking it has its own dark fantasy aura so tell me why I shouldn't read this book on a deserted island somewhere can't think of any reasons like this video below. If you think of any reasons like this video below. And Sea Fire by Natalie C. Parker is the second book that I would want with me if I was stuck on a deserted island. This is also another young adult fiction fantasy novel, and this is rated a 3.9 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. And this novel also has a seafaring ship with a really cool name, the Morse Navis, which is so cool, and it has a valiant crew to match. And then it also has an intriguing storyline with diverse and mysterious characters with a depth of their story. Get the pun? And concluding with book two, and all I ask for is a, a tall ship and a star to steer her by. I had to say that because I'm quoting Captain Kirk from Star Trek, who was quoting something else. I just can't remember what it was. And the final book that I would want with me if I was stuck on a deserted island is I Am Still Alive by Kate Alice Marshall. Now, I lent the book to one of my friends who still needs to give the book back to me, and she's enjoying it very much, and maybe she will make an appearance on a video if she has an open schedule. Anyway, I Am Still Alive is a young adult fiction survival coming-of-age novel, and it's rated a 3.8 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. I would like to find out how good the book is myself and make my own opinion and this novel has a survival theme although I'm not quite um well I'm not it's not actually on a deserted island per se but it does have a setting that's more my territory which is a temperate deciduous forest pretty much what I call my playground like I don't know how quite to explain it just thinking off the top of my head. It's like a bunch of forests, mountains, that sort of thing. And then it also has a storyline like that of Hatchet by Gary Paulson, which was a novel I absolutely loved as a kid. And I still love it now. And I'm actually rereading that book because, well, I found it on my Kindle and I decided, yes, I'm going to reread it. So that's enough reason for me. So anyway, if you like this video, subscribe to my booktube channel below to get more videos like this. Hit that thumbs up button in the face, and have a good day everyone!